Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig, and I've had some requests to check out some Old Navy jeans with cowboy boots, so that's exactly what we're doing today. I have some rigid boot cut jeans from Old Navy, and we're gonna try it out with nine different kinds of cowboy boots, different toe shapes, heel sizes, you name it, let's get into it. Old boots got soul, and I carry on this way, and we get better. Real quick before I start, I want to call out my merch. I have really cool shirts. I got belt buckles. I got sweatshirts. I got mugs, boot jacks, tons of stuff at jeremiahcraig.com slash store. So if you're interested in supporting this channel, getting something for yourself, or maybe your friend, definitely check it out. jeremiahcraig.com slash store. I really appreciate your support. Now let's check out these old navy jeans. All right, so let's start things off with a Uto and a two inch heel. This is a 14 inch tall Hondo boot. And right off the bat, I'm not really sensing that these are completely boot cut, as in boot cut meant for jeans. They do have that sort of flare, that boot cut at the bottom, but I'm feeling like they're more of a boot cut for sneaker wearers or shoe, like different kinds of shoes. Not necessarily a taller boot, like a cowboy boot, but it looks halfway decent. I'm just saying that because I can see the top of this boot. I feel like it could do a better job of hiding that with it being quote unquote boot cut. Um, so, I wouldn't say it's the best right off the bat here for some of these taller boots, but we'll start to see as we go through these eight other boots that have different heights, different heel heights, different toe shapes. You know, there's a lot of different kind of styles that these jeans might work well for you. Um, I'm just not kind of feeling that it's going really well with this first Hondo Uto. Plus, the denim is really thin. So, like, I'm not really excited about the durability possibility of this jean. I was wearing an Arizona jean earlier today, and those have much thicker denim and are around like the same price point. I believe this came in at $18 with $7 shipping, so all in all it was $25. But let's see how it goes with a roper style boot. All right, so here it is with the Ariat Heritage Roper. Similar toe shape, that U-toe look, but it does have a shorter heel, more of a stockman heel, about a one and a three eighths inch heel here. Again, I'm not sensing that it's the best boot cut because you can still see that top there, but I'm sensing that it may be okay for some of these other boots that I have. This is size 32, 36, which works really well for me in a lot of straight cuts because I can stack them. So for the fact that this is a boot cut and it's a 32, 36, gives me the impression that they're a little bit shorter than what many other companies are releasing at that 32, 36 length. So if you are thinking about getting this, I would say maybe go an extra two in your length. Um, if you're a 32, 32, try 32, 34, and so on. So they came in and I thought they were gonna be a little bit longer. I'm really happy that I got the 32, 36 though because uh, 32, 34, which is what I usually get for boot cut jeans, would not work at all for me. Now let's try it with a medium round toe. Here are the rigid boot cut jeans from Old Navy with Ruho ostrich boots and this is a medium round toe with about an inch and three quarter heel so a little bit taller heel um, but you know I kind of like it with this lighter color I can still sort of see the scallop from the shaft here um, but it's not bothering me so much as it was with the 14 inch tall Hondo and the 11 inch tall Roper boot from Ariat I kind of like this look it's it's pulling it off a little bit better, but let me know what you think down in the comments. Now, let's try it with a little bit more pointier round toe, the J-toe. I can always count on these BNV boots 
the water buffalo with the J-toe to go with so many slimmer cut jeans. Even if they are a little bit too much for some other boots, because this boot has a narrower shaft up here. It's a little bit tighter against my leg than some of these other boots. So it doesn't show through the jeans as much. And I feel like this is the best look so far that we've seen from this rigid boot cut jean. And as you can see, it's sort of stacking there at the spur ridge at the heel here, um, which is a good look. And another thing as I'm sort of trying on these different boots that I'm noticing, is that I really like the fit around the thigh. It is more of a slimmer fit, so it, it fits really nice around this area of my leg, and I like that. I like having a more form-fitting jean up here, and then having it be a little bit looser down towards the end, down towards the bottom, where the jeans meet the spur ridge there. This is a nice fit, a nice feel up here, I feel like it is a little bit short and the boot cut isn't as boot cut as it should be in some cases. And also the denim is kind of thin, so it all depends on what you're looking for. But I like the look of it, especially with this J-toe. Now let's try it with a snip toe. All right, so here are the rigid boot cut jeans from Old Navy with a snip toe, as you can see. This is a black cherry Cayman tail snip toe from Yeehaw Cowboy. And again, it works really well with this, in my opinion. I feel like it comes down around the heel really nicely. Sort of covers up the top here. You can sort of see the scallop, but it's not bad. You get a little bit of stacking there. Not very much. Uh, I feel like it's working well with the pointier toes, specifically this snip toe and the J toe. So it doesn't disappoint me here and I, Again, like how it fits up top here around my leg. Now let's move on over and try it with a narrow square toe harness boot. All right, so here it is with a harness boot. This is a rockin' leather harness boot with a narrow square toe on here and a two inch heel. It actually is working a little bit better than what I initially thought it would. I mean, you can sort of see the scallop here through the jeans because this has a little bit more of a wide shaft, wide opening in this boot, but it's not bad. I thought it was gonna be a lot worse because there's a lot of material down here with this harness. But let me know what you think. You dig in this look with the harness boot? I think it could definitely be worse. Now let's try it with a Dubai toe, also known as an L toe. Okay, so here we have an L toe, which is also known as a Dubai toe. This is an ostrich leg boot from JW Boot Company, and it has sort of a shorter heel here. Um, it's not a bad look. I'm not super excited about it, but again here, the boot cut is supposed to cover up the top of the shaft and the scallop a little bit more, so I'm getting the impression that this quote-unquote bootcut jean is for folks who want to wear a quote-unquote bootcut jean with their sneakers or their Nikes or something. So I don't feel completely at home in this bootcut jean from Old Navy when wearing several different kinds of these boots. But let's try it with a French toe now. All right, so here it is with a French toe. This is a Cayman Belly Boulet boot. I like the look of it with this. The Boulet doesn't have as rigid of a top here for these rigid boot cut jeans. And I feel like it works a little bit better. You do have some stacking going on here at the bottom, even though it does have the boot cut flare. It's even kind of coming over the spur ridge a little bit. If I was to let these fall entirely all the way down. Yeah, so it's kind of sagging a little bit low here. This is a boot without a spur ridge. It might get a little bit annoying for some folks out there. I mean, that's why a lot of folks like a spur ridge is so that it, the, the jeans stop right here. But this boot doesn't have enough of a spur ridge to make it stop. Um, maybe I'll just hike them up a little bit more and sort of try to make them stop there. Uh, it's just not really 
feeling like a boot jean for me. It doesn't go with several of these boots, but we do have one final boot to try, and that is the double stitched welt wide square toe. Here is the wide square toe with a double stitched welt from JW Boot Company. This is a red Cayman tail boot, and it works a little bit better than what I thought it was going to. You can still see the top of the boot a little bit, but it is covered by the stacking there with the boot cut. And I think I'm starting to understand this a little bit more. It's more of a straight cut jean with a little bit of flair. I don't really wanna call this a true boot cut because a true boot cut would be able to handle all of these boots like the Levi's 527 boot, but that is in a little bit higher of a price range, might be out of some of your budget out there. This comes in at around $18, 25 with shipping. So it's a much more reasonable price, much more easy to just go out and buy these jeans. However, it is not as a high quality of a denim. It feels a little bit thin, even thinner than the Arizona jean, which you can get at like Walmart and things like that. I just don't see it being the highest of quality. However, I do like the fit. So there's a lot here that you get, the fit is good, but I just don't feel like the quality is there, which kind of comes with the price, which is something that you can expect. What do you guys think of the Old Navy rigid boot cut jeans? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching today. If you're interested in getting these jeans, the link is in the description. Don't forget to subscribe while you're here. And if you want to learn more about any of these boots that I tried on today, the links to all of them are in the description. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Old Navy rigid boot cut doesn't work with them all, but it works for some. And for the price, it might be worth getting a pair for fun. Yeah, why not? It works with some boots and it can look good. Thank you for watching today. My name is Jeremiah Craig. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. If you're interested in any other jeans videos, let me know which brand and model down in the comments. I'll see you next time. Peace. Have a good one.